Hey everyone. So in this video, I want to go over using Spark's MLlib library, which is their scalable machine learning library within Azure Databricks. And basically, MLlib is just kind of a built-in machine learning library that's specific for Spark, so you don't have to use another library such as Scikit-Learn. All right, so I'm in a notebook here, and I'm going to run these cells where I can set my Azure Blob storage to be read from. Let's go ahead and get some data here. So spark.read that option infer schema true option delimiter. It's going to be a comma and CSV. And we'll show that data. There we go. So this is the machine data and it's from the UCI repository. So I'll put a link to this in the description. But it's basically giving some information about a specific machine and then we can predict what the performance of those specific machines are and but in this one we don't have a header column here so we need to kind of do a little bit of extra work to get some column names so we can use those i'll go back up here and i'm going to use spark to basically create the schema so i import from passpark.sql.types I'll import uh, everything for now so schema equals it's a struct type and it's an array of types so the first well they're always they're going to be struct fields first one's going to be vendor and it's going to be string type and we can just specify true to let it be notable but uh, I don't think there are any nulls in this data set and I'll just put the other items in so we got strings for the first two items and everything else are doubles the first thing we have is the vendor and then the model and then we got cycle time minimax main memory cache minimax channels the published performance which is what we want to estimate but then there's also a relative performance column so the authors of this data set have already ran a machine learning model on it and this last column is their predictions so we have this schema so now we need to apply it to when we read this csv file from azure blob storage so with that well we don't need it in first schema anymore so i'll just say that the header is true i'll keep the delimiter i will say dot schema and then pass in the schema object we have up here there we go so now we have our schema here we can double check first two are strings everything else are a double so now that we have our data let's go ahead and do a split on it so we get train data and then test data from data dot random split and we'll give it we want the train data as 80 percent and then the test data as 20 percent and we can print out the count for both of these so not a lot of data so 172 rows for our train data and 36 for our test data All right, so now let's begin building up our machine learning pipeline here so we do some more imports so from passpark.ml.regression we're going to import the linear regression object from passpark.ml.feature we'll import vector assembler from passpark dot ml dot evaluation will import regression evaluator so we can evaluate our model on our test data we will build up our our vectors using that vector assembler object this takes in a couple of parameters takes in input columns and we'll just put in all the columns that we want as our input so cycle time, min max memory cache, min max channels. So we are we're not going to do the vendor or model in this one, and we're not going to use the relative performance since uh, we don't need that, and we're not going to use the published performance since that's what we want to predict. So we have our input columns. We specify our output column as features, and our set our vector data as vectors that transform on our train data. If I spell correctly, so if we look at this, actually let's do 
Vector data dash show. There we go. So we get our usual items here. Then we have our features, which is just C two fifty three, and that is the uh, twenty nine, then eight hundred, which is going to be a array of all of our features here. So we have our vector data. Now let's just select our specific columns that we'll be needing. So the features we will select and we will also select the published perf column from our vector data, which is still there. And we'll show that real quick. There you go. So we have our features and then our label column. So now let's create our linear regression and our label call will be published perf and our features column will be features and then we get our model by doing linear regression that fits on our features data there you go that didn't take too long and we can get a summary from our model so model dot summary and we can print remove uh, root mean squared error using summary dot root mean squared error and then we can print our r squared not f squared r squared and it's going to be summary dot r2 so our r squared is right now around 86 percent and root mean squared error is 60 so we're an average of 60 items off but that's from our model. So next, let's take that regression evaluator and then we'll do prediction column. This is going to be prediction. And then we'll set our label column to published perf. And then specify the metric name as r squared. So now we need to do what we did to our test data with our vector assembler. So we did this on the train data. Now we need to do this on the test data. So we get it into the data that it expects. Just we'll say vector test is vectors.transform on our test data. So we have all that again. So let's do another select features test vector test uh, select do features plus this perf so we got our two columns that we need we can transform to model that transform on our features test set now we can call evaluator dot evaluate on our test transform data there we go and from here we have a 90 percent so it actually perform better than what our model said all right so that's just kind of a, a small introduction to using mlib with a linear regression model in Azure Databricks. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.